Justin Bieber's now confirmed his engagement to Hayley Baldwin, but Hayley Baldwin is standing for Jelena. I'm so confused by her tweets, you guys. I don't care what anyone says, but Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez together is the definition of a teenage dream. I'm for sure 100% team Jelena. Oh, sorry, everyone. Sorry, those tweets were from 2011. Oops. Stop the news. Also, LOL. I bet Hales is finding this as hilarious as the rest of us because, yep, 2011 Hayley is not here for 2018 Hayley, who's about to husb up the Biebs. Justin hit his Instagram to officially confirm the news last night, saying that he can't wait for the best season of life. Was gonna wait a while to say anything, but word travels fast. Listen, plain and simple, Hayley, I am so in love with everything about you. My heart is completely and fully yours and I will always put you first. You are the love of my life, Hayley Baldwin, and I wouldn't want to spend it with anybody else. It's funny because now with you, everything seems to make sense. Oh my God, does anyone else want to sing Love is an Open Door right now? No? Okay. The thing I am most excited for is that my little brother and sister get to see another healthy, stable marriage and look for the same. You make me so much better and we complement each other so well. Can't wait for the best season of my life yet. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm just so single, you guys. I'm so single. Anyway, Haley's also confirmed thing, tweeting, not sure what I did in life to deserve such happiness, but I am so utterly grateful to God for giving me such an incredible person to share my life with. No words could ever express my gratitude. If any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, he or she should declare it now. Don't even think about it, 2011 Haley. I'm 100% Team Beeb win. Jaylee. Uh, Bald Beebs? What is the official ship name, guys? Just a few weeks ago, it was announced that pop princess Ariana Grande was to marry SNL cast member Pete Davidson shortly after they made their relationship official. One unlikely person to share their thoughts on the upcoming nuptials is Selena Gomez. During a recent interview with Clever at the Hotel Transylvania 3 premiere, the star was asked what her animated character Mavis would think about their engagement. She said she had no idea what her character would think, but she added that she personally thinks it's amazing and beautiful. I know what you're all thinking. When will she comment on Bieber's engagement to Hayley? Guys, Sorry to burst your bubble, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. Her fans, on the other hand, have been ever so vocal as they created quite an inappropriate hashtag, saying the star was now free from Justin. Ouch. Forbes has just slept Kylie on the front cover of their latest magazine alongside the words, at 21, she's set to be the youngest ever self-made billionaire. Now, the almost billionaire bit's probably right. Her company, Kylie Cosmetics, is reportedly valued at around 800 million US dollars. Then you've got all the cash she's made from TV shows, appearances, paid Instagram endorsements for giant stickers made of tea that you put on your stomach to apparently make it more toned. Yeah. No, what people are taking issue with is the self-made part of that. As the dictionary kindly pointed out, self-made means having succeeded in life unaided. And it's kinda hard to say that Kylie's made it through life wholly unaided. For starters, she was chucked on a reality TV show when she was 10. And it mightn't have been her choice, and she mightn't have directly made money off it back then, but the family certainly did. And coming from a family with money gives you access to so many privileges that a lot of people don't have. Education, healthcare, handbags worth more than some people's college tuition, the show also made her a celebrity, so when it came to selling her trademark lip kits, she already had an arsenal of fans of her famous pout stocked up on Instagram. Of course, that's not to say she isn't impressive. One way or another, she's built a hugely successful brand and made a ton of money from it at a very young age. To put it in perspective, Kim Kardashian is worth only 350 million, Taylor Swift only 320, and Beyonce only 355. Kylie Jenner is so rich that I'm actually using the word only in front of 355 million dollars to compare her to other people. It's also always brilliant to see young women killing it. She's a modern celebrity that millions of people look up to, and she may very well have inspired a fair few businesswomen, maybe even some of them genuinely self-made. After all, she didn't need to build a multi-million dollar company. She could have just mooched about in her family mansion, working on a tan and ordering multiple fish tacos off delivery like a lot of people would do given the choice. But to call herself made is to minimize the massive head start she's had in life. To ignore the fact that she started the race hundreds of meters ahead or some people can run their whole life and not even make it to the start line. So to the person saying, we need to raise a hundred million dollars to give to Kylie Jenner so she's a full billionaire. We really don't. 